Hey, what's going on guys, Hex here, and today we're taking a look at the Star Wars 6-inch Black Line series, Akira, from uh, Solo, a Star Wars story uh, movie. Uh, you can get this figure and many others like it at Big Bad Toy Store, just use the link in the description. Uh, they also have Marvel Legends, DC, Transformers, so uh, for all your needs, just use my link in the description, it'll take you to Big Bad Toy Store. And it also helps me out a little bit. So, uh, anyways, uh, taking a look at this figure, uh, comes with what you see here, the figure and uh, one pistol, so... Uh, not the most interesting figure. Uh, does have some, you know, nice little, I guess, paint apps to it. Uh, but anyway, let's let's take let's take a look at it and see what see what you get. So uh, as far as the uh, little gun here, pistol, uh, looks like it's just a double barrel a uh, little pistol. But you get the kind of silver. Or uh, kind of a gunmetal look uh, with a, the silver paint on top of it so the gun actually looks pretty cool uh, as far as you know the face um is it is it Emma Clark uh, I, I believe that's how you pronounce her name uh, does that does that look like her Again, this goes back to, uh, you know, whenever I looked at the Tobias Beckett figure, I'm like, hey, I definitely see Woody Harrelson there. Uh, and, you know, the Han Solo figure, I'm like, okay, I definitely see Harrison Ford there. With with this one, I, I guess I kind of see it. Again, it's a $20 figure, uh, so it's not supposed to be Hot Toys quality. Uh, but some of the other characters, I can definitely see their actors in the, the mold and face printing technology, to where some, it's a little bit harder. Uh, so... But anyways, there's a look at her. At least her eyes are looking directly at you. It's got like a little bit of lip gloss there. Uh, the hair. Maybe maybe it's the hair that's throwing me off. I've only seen the movie once. I haven't got it on uh, DVD yet or Blu-ray. But uh, I've only seen it once. And I'm not used to seeing her hair like this. So maybe that's what's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Uh, but you can see it's got some brown with some black wash in there. Uh, and you have... Not the new uh, neck, to neck uh, technology, you know, just have the ball joint up there that, you know, rotates however it needs to. Uh, jacket doesn't look too bad. You can definitely see where the texture of it would have, it kind of gives that fur uh, impression uh, draped over the back. Uh, not, not too bad. It's not really that sloppy. If we can get it to uh, focus here. Why is it not focusing now? All right. Uh, wrinkles here. Uh, for the uh, the jacket, which looks good because it's you know crunched up, as you can see, uh, looks like there's a little bit of a uh, jewelry or some weird looking watches. If you want uh, with the belt, you can see she's got like these little uh, little things here holstered. Uh, nothing in the back, and it, here's where it's kind of weird to me is you get this weird looking paint here where I'm not exactly sure what you're trying to do. Uh, and then you have a little bit here and then a lot just like tons of it right here. I, I guess is that supposed to be snow? It must be where it's supposed to be snow, but I just feel like it's poorly executed so I don't know it, lo it looks like instead of snow it looks more like she's a a Server and worked all day and then just has like crap all over her apron so it needs a new a new apron because it looks gross. But anyways, uh, this flip up you can see some of the articulation there, and she's got some more. I guess it's supposed to be snow on her boots. Why well, it's not on all over her legs, but it's like real heavy here. It doesn't make any sense. But anyways, so that's just a, you know a couple of little things that I guess issue with the figure, but I guess it's it's all right. Um, so anyways, articulation here. Uh, you have the. Waist articulation uh, right here, which joint moves really well. You can see that this is kind of a separate piece for the jacket, but you still need to keep it on because otherwise it's going to look really weird with that top with these long sleeves. So, uh, Arms, they rotate back and forth. They go up and down. You have the elbows that bend. They also rotate as well. Uh, then you have the wrists that rotate. This goes left to right. This one over here goes up and down. And uh, Then you have the legs that you can see. They go back and forth, side to side. They have a thigh cut. They have the more than 90 degree uh, double jointed knees. And then you have the foot that rotates here and goes back and forth. I was seeing if she had a separate boot articulation because I didn't check that earlier. 
uh, but she does not. All right, so anyways, there's a uh, little look at her. So anyways, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.